you do the entire debriefing uh, with Optimus Prime, and in the end, he says, hmm, it seems we have some new Decepticons at our hands. But as we are already already have our hands full with Megatron, I assign these ones over to you. Can count what? on us, sir. But we are we just barely made it. I mean Gear I looked over at Trailblazer and I put my arm on his shoulder and I say, My friend, this is gonna be fun. Yeah. Next time we'll be prepared. Uh, they caught us uh, off guard. That won't happen again. Then it seems that you have already bonded as a group, so I'm sending you back to that city and start your headquarters over there. Wait. Oh, great. I am Does just so we have happy with my new best friends. We have to keep working with that outdated piece of technology that constantly gets us into danger, pointing at gridlock. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I may be outdated, but at least I look good. And I transform into a truck again. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> yes, uh, op- I do. Uh, Ramses, Optimus Prime, walks towards you, Put put his hand on your shoulder and says, "We all have our strong and strong strong points and weaknesses, but together we can." Uh, f- Don't make this sound dirty. <laughs> but together we can cancel each other's weaknesses out by aiding each other in mission and in combat. Okay. She gets. I guess she's now inspired. You're right, sir. With my superior technology, I guess I can make up for the shortcoming of that bucket of scrap. <laughs> As you are just, just young, maybe, maybe, maybe new, but he has the experience. Learn from him. Yes, I guess I can learn a lot from the way he charges into battle without thinking. <laughs> Don't don't worry. I will be back at base with uh, with all the men. I'll be back at base and make sure that you will be fine. Wait, what oh, by the base? Way, we don't did have you a base. brought that human with you? you know? No. Yeah. <laughs> Samantha, I mean. Oh, her. Um, only with uh, Optimus's permission. Okay, there's been enough people in there, so yeah, she's with you. All oh, right, guys, then you can. Uh, come with me to my father's place. He has a big place where you can probably set up your headquarters. Cloud Tessa looks stars. How did you get in here? I drove uh, with him, and she points at Ultra Magnus. <laughs> and uh, she, Cloud Tessa says nothing, but she looks at Ultra Magnus like he just betrayed her. <laughs> oh, so that's why Ultra Magnus started honking. <laughs> Yes, she can't stop touching my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Typical human behavior. <laughs> oh, and then I'm yes. gonna like interrupt myself again and go, oh, How are you, know, you know, you've only been here for a day. Quiet, you. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Therese, I wish you guys knew country music because that's the, like the perfect songs for this. She thinks my tractor sexy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because the eighteen wheelers, they're track they're called tractor trailers. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Okay, sure. Got it. So next session we're gonna build our headquarters, I guess? Yes. So oh, you shit. can think about it what you want, and you have how many points in headquarters? We I spend- want I want our headquarters to have a tele- working teleportation portal to the Death Star that's orbiting Earth. <laughs> Death Star? What Death Star? <laughs> Is that Unicron up there? <laughs> no, that's Unicron down there. We all contributed five points, Dree, so it's 15 points. So you... yes, I'm not sure if I we can to... build anything good from that. 
Next time we will look up the stats of how to build your playsets. Yeah. <laughs> best, <laughs> now in stores, the Soldiers of Steel playset. <laughs> <laughs> What's in it? Find out next episode in Transformers Soldiers of Steel. Yeah. <laughs> And stay tuned till the end for a promotional offer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. God damn it. So we're done? Yes. I think so. Um, I guess. Well, that, that was just one big action scene that session. Yes, I know. This should have been the end of last time's see, uh, session. So what, you wanted to end with the fight against Alpha Omega and then move on to the giant Decepticon? What? No, I, no, it, I knew Richard was going to jump the gun and, and, and actually start attacking the old dude, so this was all planned. <laughs> oh, okay. Because Wait, I know Richard. Okay. I can hit that. <laughs> yeah, but they're Decepticons. That's what he does. I know. But, but but I calculated everything, so yeah. A little criticism, though. While I had fun, I thought like having two big fights like following each other was a bit much. I know. I thought it was awesome. But I thought um, you were going to have first have a normal conversation, uh, mm -hmm. you know, threatening each other. But no, Richard, you mean oh, kick, punch, punch, punch. Yeah, but they're <laughs> like, Decepticons. Okay. We're supposed to punch them. <laughs> Actually, I, I have a question about that. We don't inherently know, can recognize Decepticon when we see him, right? He had Not a clear visible Decepticon symbol. We said so. So we can recognize yes, him? Yes, but all about logic details that you don't automatically hit them. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, that's can... the new age Autobot. Uh, well, See, those are sure. those are what Gridlock likes to call liberal Autobots. I think Gridlock should okay. have a quality that basically states that he's quick to jump the gun. Yeah, that actually is not a bad idea. Because it's usually Gridlock that's the one who starts yeah, attacking the most... enemy without asking Punch! any questions. Cloud Dancer was maybe angry at them, but she but she mm -hmm. at least was asking questions. Yep, because Cloud Dancer's a liberal Autobot. New <laughs> Age Autobot. No, it says because so on her you... standard quality that she's an insatiable seeker of knowledge. She asks a lot... Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm supposed to let her ask more questions. Uh -huh. I'll do that next time. Uh, because no normally the plan was... Uh -huh. They approach, you start talking, he says... Don't attack us, or we'll, you know, hurt the humans. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. We go. And... <laughs> go on. And while they were walking away, uh, of course, they set up Titanus just actually to protect them. But mm -hmm. knowing Richard, I knew he was probably gonna shoot at one of them, so that was actually the backup plan. But then, but instead of talking, the first thing you did was punch. <laughs> But well, you should have had them had an opening speech or something then in which they mentioned that they have the humans under their control. That would have prevented that. Yeah, it would have. Really? Well, yeah, it's pretty simple. Yeah. You just you just you just let them monologue, and if you say they're monologuing, and you're saying like you can't attack them right now because this is a scene and stuff, we can't stop you. Okay, yeah. remember that and for next time. If you look at uh, cartoons, that often happens. You're supposed to let the bad yeah. guys at least monologue. That's kind of part of mm -hmm. the of those cartoons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's a very powerful tool to... like that. Mm. It's a very powerful tool, and I suggest you, you know, try it out on us. Yeah. So if you had them go like, don't don't try to don't try anything aggressive, or will will hurt the humans or something, that would have prevented all of that. Yes, I should have. Uh, done that. Oh well, live and learn. But when we started, I was also a little uh, bit tired from my job. Yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you no, no, not a tired. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. I think everybody was tired. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. all of us a had like a not so very good day. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Okay. 
Uh, At least we got yes. to the end and mm-hmm. we had fun. Yes. Yes, that was season one, wasn't it? No, 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 no. No. no? Two more episodes. And now we get to build our own headquarters, or should I say playset? <laughs> headquarters, yeah. playset sounds a little bit weird. And no, 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 well, it's uh, officially it's the playset. <laughs> I know, I know. And I will start hitting you with energy on cubes if you refer to that uh, in no, that way. No, in Cartoon Action Hour, it's kind of assumed that your character has an action mm-hmm. figure. Yes, I'm an action figure, yeah. So yeah, you're all supposed to have a playset. No gender! Oh! <laughs> but did Reese mm-hmm. mention that we're gonna have our headquarters like on or underneath a a private airfield? Not yet. Oh, okay. Not yet. You that would that. be next mm. episode. Mm-hmm. Ah, okay. Or did I did I <coughs> give spoilers? Yeah, not that much of a spoiler nah. but anyway. Well, it's gonna be cool. But we're gonna have like a hidden base or something. Yes. Well, I never actually. Mind. Do that. I actually really like the the robots in disguise aspect, even though that was. In the original cartoon, they were never really in disguise for that much. <laughs> I would like us to at least try to remain in disguise. You know, because other to yeah. get the jump mm. on the Decepticons. Yes, and not create a uh, huge panic which would, kill, which would kill hundreds and thousands and start a riot and looting and other bad stuff. Ooh, I'm gonna I'm gonna mm. look up. Uh, I'm mm-hmm. going to do some research on an, on an old 80s cartoon called Mask. Does anybody know that one? Yes. Uh, yes. That, yes also, with the, that, like, for yeah. instance, had a transforming base. I think they had, like, a gas station that transformed into a military base or something like that. <laughs> I'm yes, going to do some they... research. I, wanna, I want mm-hmm. something like that. We need a transforming okay. base. That would be cool. Okay. That would be cool. Everybody on board with that transforming base of some sort? <laughs> oh yes! I mean, we could we could that build our own city, a city guardian. I mean, mm. there. No, let, there let's not go are... crazy. It's just a base for like five bots. It doesn't need Too to be like that. Big. I mean, six, six bots. Six, yes. six bots. Yes. Yeah. No, no, but need to be we that need big. it. It's a base for, well, let's say, up to ten bots. You you yeah. want some bit a bit of a growing room. For allies and uh, guests, yeah, we want to sell more toys. <laughs> there needs to be more <laughs> characters. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, cool. Yeah. Looking forward to next time when we're gonna build our base. Cool. So. Uh, yes. Anybody else time need to to any final comments before we end the episode? Yeah, no? yeah, okay. full of targen. That's not what? the kind of message I was looking for, Dalla. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Moral of the story. Oh, yeah. We, have a, we actually have a moral of the story. Moral Brain of the story. Beats born, brawn. Hold yes. on. Hold on. Yeah. The moral of the story is, if it's a bully, punch it. <laughs> Remember, oh. kids, don't let any bullies make you feel bad because you're smart. <laughs> yes, but Richard, if you bully a bully, does that make you a bully? Oh, nope. yeah. Yes, it does. Because if the bully's bullying first, it makes you fighting back. Makes you a counter-bully. <laughs> no, yeah, it yeah. makes you a freedom you fighter. <laughs> freedom yeah. Fighter. You know what the other word is for freedom fighter? It starts with a T. Mm. Trace, I do like... I know they're not in the original Transformers cartoon, but I do like those after-show messages. We should do that sometime. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I kind of like that. Yeah. So, yeah. people... So, folks, the thing you've learned today is if you work together, no matter how big your foe or the challenge, if you work together, you can beat it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bravo! Right, Ultra Bravo. Madness. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Yes. Uh, yes, because everybody has their own skills, and everybody has their own skills and other and their own ways in which they contribute. Ugh. Some of us but like punching, other like thinking. <laughs> <laughs> but mm-hmm. together we can do a thinking punch. <laughs> 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 Uh, 
Okay, and if that doesn't work, work this remember to use your enemy's weapons against them and cause a huge just explosion. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going out of context now. <laughs> well, Cloud does, I'm not sure that's a good message for the kids. <laughs> okay, what? we're going yeah, to... My... Yeah, we're my going... teacher is bullying me, so I use my chemicals to blow her up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to do. That's the way to do it. Annoying tiny human creature. <laughs> that's a bad example. <laughs> Slap. <laughs> oh man. Oh, yeah, I don't okay. think Claudess would be Cut. a very good teacher to humans, especially because she hates mm-hmm. humans. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. Um. All right. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> that was fun, guys. But it's time for us to call it a day. So say good night, everyone. Good night, Good night, everyone. And we hope to see you again on the exciting next episode when our new brand spanking headquarters will be revealed and probably the Decepticons will show up to try to stop us or something. Who knows? But until then, keep on rolling those dice. And it's brand spanking new, not new brand spanking. Shut up. I punch it! I punch it! Damn it, Dowie, you took my line!